Toronto FC come from behind to beat their biggest rivals, Montreal, and go above the impact into a playoff position here. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of After 90. Marie Papadak gets alongside Gareth Wheeler. Big 4-1 derby win for the resident over the Montreal Impact. 2-1 result in the annual c &E Toronto FC game, as you can see with all the madness happening behind us right now. Big three points for the Reds tonight. Let's talk about the importance going forward into the season. Well, I'll talk about the carnival outside. Inside, I mean, you could cut the tension with the knife at times. And the predominant sentiment coming out of this game was relief. And seeing the players come through the tunnel afterwards with some of the staff, some of the front office, there was high fives, there was hugs, there was elation. And even some of the players in our post-game conversations just said that the team just feels like they could just take a breath. And that's what it's about right now. Back-to-back -back draws at this stage of the season is not good enough. You need to come away with the full three points, especially games at home, especially, especially against your rival, and especially, especially, especially against a team that was ahead of you in the table. That all played out down one nothing. I think they showed incredible resolve and character coming back from a goal down where everything could have gone sideways to come away with the full three points. This could be a defining moment of Toronto FC season, the first step in what they hope can build momentum and continue to go in the right direction. We saw Benes and Gallardo get out there tonight. What do you think of their performances? Well, they added speed into the team, and that was the biggest talking point we had again. No Alejandro Pozuelo in the starting 11. It took a lot of people by surprise, but Greg Vettis continually stated this. He needs more speed in the team. They need to play faster, and that was his conversation post-game as well, as at times they're a little bit slow, but when they played fast, boy, oh boy, did they play the Montreal Impact off the pitch, and they did. Gallardo, he's such an exciting young talent. Not the complete product, but the effort that he put in tonight, he was a true difference maker out there. Same thing with Benazay down the left. Now the challenge going forward is trying to find a system where all these attacking players can play together, playing at the requisite speed that's needed to make this team successful. And that's why a player like tonight, like Marky Delgado's performance, he's so good at playing quick and he needs the team to play faster when they do. Everything looks like looks like it should it really comes together nicely now looking back at the entire match what is Garrett's game changer I'd love to say hey Justin Morrow your first goal of the year I mean he scored eight in 2017 I'd love to say Marky Delgado but I'm gonna go with the head coach Greg Vanny it wasn't just the audacity and it takes a level of confidence taking the risk to sit down your all-star and to choose to play other players to get a better product a more connected team out of it wasn't just that. Justin Morrow pointed out post game as well. He said Greg Vanny changing formation, tinkering with things in the second half, and even bringing in Pozuelo at halftime. It made a difference. He provided a little bit more cutting edge in the attacking third, a little bit more of a threat. Just look at the statistics. TFC had 19 shots on the night, didn't have one shot on target in the first half, five in the second half. I think Greg Vanny pulled all the right strings. Some of them might not be popular with some fans or some players, but it's about the team right now and the moves that he made tonight. And Ended up with a crucial three points for the group. And Maria, who is your man of the match? Man of the match tonight for me is Marquis Delgado getting the first goal for Toronto FC. I think that goal definitely helped the momentum and get to get them back in the game after trailing one nothing. And just that was his first goal since October 28 of 2018. So obviously a long time coming for him. He was really happy in post game interviews as we saw him to get that goal. And when you're looking back at the play, he was in the right pocket at the right time, and he just it was it just opened up for him. And I think to see the way he performed tonight was incredible. And I think he's really stepped up and grown as a player this season. It was like he was playing croquet tonight. Went through the legs of two yeah. players and into the back of the net and uh, I mean he was due for a big goal at a big time I thought he was outstanding as well tonight I also want to give a shout out to his center midfield partner Michael Bradley when the going got tough in the second half he raised his level of game and now that's what you hope there's some momentum building here TFC by virtue of their win tonight leapfrog Montreal on the table they're just one point under New England in the table they play the revolution next week and DC United is backing up they're going in the wrong direction they're only two points back in DC United. So finally, TFC in a playoff position as we stand. Still have a game in hand on Montreal and Orlando as well. It cannot be stated enough how important the win was tonight. Well, Toronto FC is definitely going to use the momentum against New England next weekend. For everything Toronto FC, keep it locked in on torontofc.ca.